Okay, we are going to practice. And uh, answer this question. How do seahorses use their unique features? And uh, before we continue, we're just going to go ahead and review our book by Chris Butterworth, Seahorse, the Shyest Fish in the Sea, and illustrated by Joan Lawrence. So let's go ahead and get started with it super quick, just to refresh our head and find some features so we can get started with our informative paragraph. I'm going to turn off the light because we'll let you see. It says, in the warm ocean, among the war waving seagrass meadows, an eye like a small black bead is watching the fish dart by. Who does it belong to? Seahorse, one of the shyest fish in the sea. Seahorse has a head like a horse, a tail like a monkey, and a pouch like a kangaroo. This one is a barber seahorse. He has tiny prickles down his back like a dragon. What does he have? Tiny prickles. Those little spikes are prickles. He may not look much like a fish, but that's what he is. So that's one of the features of this fish, right? He has those prickles. And let's read this uh, <clears throat> bottom right here, the fine print. For a long time, no one was sure what kind of animal the seahorse was. Its scientific name is hippocampus, which means horse-like sea monster. So yeah, this is like a tiny sea, uh, sea monster. So one of the features is that the seahorse has those prickles down his back like a little dragon. Also, seahorse swims upright. He moves himself through the water with the little fins on his head and the larger one on his back. So he uses those tiny fins on the head and the larger one on the back to move around. So we have already read about three feature, two features. One, the prickles at the end, and two, the tiny fins, and how the seahorse is able to move upright. <clears throat> Let's continue. He can only swim slowly, so if a hungry snapper cruises by looking for a snack, Seahorse does something very clever. He holds still and changes color. Now you see him. Seahorses have hard bony ridges all down their bodies. Not many other creatures eat seahorses, probably because they're just too difficult to swallow. So let's go back to the prickles has the prickles and then the ridges that are very, very thick and hard. So this makes it very difficult for a hungry fish like this guy right here to eat the seahorse. So we encounter three features. Uh, another thing is that it says here, he does something very clever. He holds still and changes color. Let's read a little bit more about that. <clears throat> Now you see him until he is almost invisible. Now you don't. The way seahorses change the color of their skin to blend in with their surroundings, it's called camouflage. <clears throat> OK. So we found another feature. Right? The prickles down the back of a seahorse and the hard ridges help him to protect himself from predators like this hungry fish, right? He swims upright with the fins from his, on his head and the, the big one on the back of his back to swim easily, that's two features, and he changes colors, which is called camouflage. Those are three features that we found already so far. And uh, I think that's enough information for us to start writing our, our informative paragraph. And I think we can answer this question with those three, three details that I would like to use only two. 
So let's go back to our question. How do seahorses use their unique features? Hmm. So we just said that the, the prickles, the prickles on the back can help him to not to be eaten by other fish, right? That's one detail. And another one that I liked is that he changes colors so he can blend in. Technically, he camouflages, right? Camouflages and well, that'll, that'll help him to survive. You're right. Now let's go ahead and answer this question with our informative paragraph format. Let's go back and read the question. It says, how do seahorses use their unique features? Remember, when we start our answer, we are going to write a portion of the question. Seahorses use their unique features <clears throat> to protect themselves. Yes, let's go ahead. Make sure that you're writing with me. Seahorses use their unique features I don't have more space, so I'm going to come back, skip a line so it can look nice and pretty. Unique features to protect or for protection. For protection. Let's change that T into an F for protection. And at the end, we have a period. <clears throat> so that's our topic statement. How do we create our topic statement? We create our topic statement from our question. The question is, how do see horses use their unique features? Well, according to what we read is that they use the, their unique features to protect themselves. So see horses use their unique features for protection. And how do they use it? Well, they hide themselves, right? We said camouflage and the prickles on, on, on the back of your body. So let me pull this up a little bit. If you need to write it down, just pause it and write it down for me. Uh, let's go ahead and write our detail number one. Mr. Aleman wants two details, remember? So detail number one, seahorses. Use their prickles, yes. Use their prickles for protection, right? Nice and easy sentence. What do we have at the end? Or what should we have at the end? Yes, a period. Seahorses use their prickles for protection. Hey, detail number one is out of the way. Now let's go ahead and write detail number two. I'll write a D number two. And we said that they hide from animals by doing what? Yes, camouflage. Seahorses. Hide by camouflage. Camouflage or camouflaging? Camouflaging? Okay. This is a hard word. And at the end, period. Seahorses hide by camouflaging. 
Is that our detail number two? Yes, thumbs up. And we need one more thing to finish our short informative paragraph. Yes, conclusion. Let's go ahead and read the whole thing again. Make sure that it makes sense. Seahorses use their unique features for protection. Seahorses use their prickles for protection. Seahorses hide by camouflaging. In conclusion, <clears throat> what are we talking about? Unique features. We, we can say that their unique features help them to survive. Yes, that's part of our vocabulary, remember? So in conclusion, In conclusion, seahorses. Wait, in conclusion. Use their unique features, seahorses, yes. Use their unique features. I'm going to skip a line. Don't forget to skip a line. They are unique features. To serve what? Yes, survive. If we don't know how to write it, we sound it out. Sir. Sir. Vibe. And at the end, a period. Good job, boys and girls. Let's read it. Let's read it again. <clears throat> now, let's ask ourselves the question. How do seahorses use their unique features? Seahorses use their unique features for protection. Seahorses use their prickles for protection. Seahorses hide by camouflaging. In conclusion, seahorses use their unique features to survive. Oh, Mr. Aleman made a mistake. Well, we just need to add two. You can fix that because you have a pencil, right? Mr. Aleman can't fix it because he's using a marker. But that's the end of our little uh, <clears throat> practice. Uh, Let's go ahead and read the story again, practice again, so you don't forget how to write your informative paragraph. Remember, we need a topic statement and two details. I want two details, detail one, detail two, and the conclusion. Great work. I'll see you guys later.